opportunity to come and address you again. I think it's been three years since the last time that I've been there. It's, I'm embarrassed to admit that. I moved to Irving in 1986, and I have had, when I ran for election for city council in 2004, my, I fell for you, my uh, daughter was, was five and my son was two, and I remember those ages. But I'm going to tell you right now, hold on to it, because once they become 15 and 12, you're going to look back with two fondly. <laughs> so my kids have grown up. My kids have grown up here. They've grown up, thankfully, with me in politics. They don't know anything different. Uh, I studied um, city and regional planning, believe it or not, and government at Cornell University. I graduated Magna Cum Laude. Um, I moved down to, to Dallas and um, lived there for about seven or eight months before I moved back to Irving, right after I graduated. Um, my parents live here, my siblings live here, and we absolutely love it. Since I have been elected in 2004, I have been consistent. I have consistently fought for lower taxes. I have consistently fought for all taxpayer money to be spent in a reasonable, effective, and efficient manner, in an absolute transparent manner. Three years ago, when you trusted me and elected me to be your mayor, I had the exact same principles that I had the six years that I was on city council. I didn't have to reinvent myself to run for mayor. And I would like to ask for your support again, because in the last three years, I think we've really been able to accomplish a lot. We've added 10,000 new jobs in the city of Irving. We are at a high for construction rates, the highest we've been in 28 years. We are considered by the FBI being the fifth safest city in the country. And Forbes has identified us as the sixth fastest growing city in the country. This did not happen overnight. There was a ton of people who have done this in partnership. But I tell you that because when you leave any of these debates, when you hear some of these arguments, I don't want you to leave with the fact that you live in a declining city. If you travel and if you go places, you will be proud when you come home. And I want you to continue to be proud of this fantastic city that we live in. We fight for this every day. And I'm going to tell you right now, some of you have seen the council meetings. We don't all get along. And that's fine. But what that does cause is a lot more open discussion about how your money is being spent, whether or not a project is good or bad. And you know what's going on. I want to continue that. I have fought for an ethics policy for the last three years. I am still hopeful that we will be able to get that passed. I look forward to your questions, and I want to thank all of you guys for coming, for being interested, for voting, and for being engaged in what we're doing in the city.